Hey, Shalom, I'll give you all praise on Tia Bashima, Shabashima Kwa Kodash. Our double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone and honors you, brothers, to be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So I'm the Baba body are coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashima, Shabashima Kwa Kodash. Giving all praise on Tia Bashima, Shabashima Kwa Kodash. And this particular video is going to be a quick video. I'm uh, pretty much going to show you that the uh, Heavenly Father has selected the uh, Israelite, Israelite man. To be a, a, a special, uh, a, a special within the earth, uh, contrary to what these are uh, so-called alpha males, right? These so-called high-value men teach you out there within the um, within the YouTube, right? Not, I mean, not necessarily every alpha male, so-called alpha male within that YouTube thing says that. Uh, but certainly, um, some of the points that I'm gonna make is very relevant to the fact that there is only one. There's only one knowledge uh, um, source, okay? There's only one knowledge source that's going to be very uh, well sustained, right? When, 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 when we, when, in terms of time, when you look back, you're going to find out it was the men of the Lord that um, that had the juice, man, for lack of a better word. You're going to find out it was the men of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem outside, that was uh, uh, clued in, right? That had the knowledge because these are individuals. Of which the flavor of the day, the flavor of the week, is these two individuals, fresh and fit. And um, I'm not going to play any of their videos. I'm just going to go into the scriptures in a second. Firstly, to show you that the Israelite man is is, is indeed special. Um, and ultimately, um, one of the principal things that makes us special is that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, has bestowed upon us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Matter of fact, when you go into the book of Amos, the, seventh, the third chapter, and the seventh verse on down, the scripture talks about how the Mosai revealeth his secrets unto the prophets. Not the prophetess, unto the prophets. Not some thought, unto the prophets. Okay, not Kevin Samuels, not Fresh and Fit, not um, Tommy Soromayo, or any other individual that pops up on YouTube. And yeah, we watch it for entertainment. Yeah, they make some cool points. But the reality of the situation, as I've, as I've mentioned before, when these individuals, they lose steam or they're not the flavor anymore and... People ain't feeling their vibe anymore. The men of the Lord are going to be there. Before these individuals came on the YouTube, right? The men of the Lord was there. Way after the YouTube thing has got shut down, the men of the Lord are going to be out there, man. All right? And we don't take no nonsense from, 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 for some thought. You ain't going to have some thought run circles around us. All right? That ain't going to happen. What's going to happen is you're going to see that the, the value of the men of the Lord is going to increase. All right? The value of the men of the Lord is going to increase because as we're going to see within the precepts, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding shall be the stability of our times. All this demonic six, six, six figures and six, you know, six figures and six foot, all of that BS that they push out there, which when you go into the scriptures, you know, that won't really affect us within the ancient way of thinking. And that's what you got to think about these individuals. They're trying to make you survive within Babylon. They're trying to keep, give you a, a cheat code to survive in Babylon. And it's like, yo, bro. I'm trying to be out of Babylon. I ain't trying to be within society. How are we going to get out of it? How, 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 how is, is there something better than this? And you're only going to get the, the answers to those particular questions from the men of the Lord. So without much further ado, let's go into the precepts, man. Okay, and i got a handful of precepts here that I've prepared. Now let's start here with this, um, with this notion that, you know, a man isn't special, which we we teach you here at Great Millstone, we teach you the high levels of self-esteem, we, we let you know you're special, if you're an Israelite man, you're very special, okay, you are very special, and we're going to see that within the within the course of the handful of precepts that I'm going to show you here, and then we're going to touch on wisdom, and the importance of wisdom in the times that we're living in out here, and going into the point that, yeah, these individuals, they're funny, right? I watch it for entertainment, they, they have some cool sets, and sometimes they make a point that you can gleam off, you know, a point that you can learn something off of. But if you want the entirety of the truth, if you want the entirety of the picture, man, I go to the elders of Great Millstone and the men, men that teach alike. That's when you're going to get the knowledge, wisdom and understanding. And the scripture says here, the Most High has deprived a woman of understanding. Job 39 and 17, because the Most High has deprived her of wisdom, neither has he imparted unto her understanding. You see that? So from the scriptures here, we're seeing that the, 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 the wisdom, knowledge and understanding, especially that of the scriptures of which a script, a, a biblical understanding is the greatest form of knowledge that you can have because you can understand everything within the scriptures. Here, they, here it is, these individuals, they'll give you gym tips, 
right? They give you clothing and fashion tips and all of that. And you know, sometimes you you know, okay, yeah, all right, I'll, okay, maybe maybe I'll buy a <laughs> a better feet and pair of jeans. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, or you know, I, I you know, I'm I'm not um I'm not uh, I'm not supposed to wear this with that or you know some little gem like that. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll I'll take that. But what about life? What about the ways that lead it unto life? These ways did just lead unto what? Getting slapping some cheeks. That doesn't lead unto life. We're living in the most demonic times, and these guys, you know, the, the the entirety of their conversation is okay. This is a demonic situation, but this is how you can maneuver in the demonic situation to be even more demonic. Notice a lot of these individuals: Tommy Sotomayor, Kevin some Kevin Samuels, all right, a, a, a fresh and fit. All of these guys. Notice they never mention nothing about adultery, which adultery is running rampant out there. They never have no no a, a, a rule code. There's never a, a, of which when you go into the word of a, a, a value that goes back onto honor, and when you're dealing with honor, that usually implies a rule code, right? There's a, a code of ethics, and what's the greatest form of of a code of ethics? It's the scriptures. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not cover, it. and so on and so forth and so forth and so on. These are the scriptures, these are the oracles of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, bestowed unto the men of the Lord. And the man that has wisdom was gonna be was gonna be very heavily involved with these oracles. And as we can see here, the more sight, you didn't get that. I mean, you got particular women that was gonna be on point, a little bit of them, but the wisdom was given unto the man, as we can see here from the scriptures. Let's move on, on to the next precept. This is gonna be All right, the book of 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter and the third verse, and says, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Shai, and the head of a woman is the man, right? And the head of, of, of Shai is the Mosai. That's what you know as a hierarchy, right? A power structure. That's called a hierarchy. This is a power structure. You've got these Christians banging on about the, 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 the New Testament, the New Testament. What is the New Testament scripture? First time I heard this scripture was from the men of the Lord. These so-called alpha male this and that and the third on YouTube, they didn't, they didn't bring out the scripture because the most I ain't giving them the wisdom. The same thing with these broads, which yeah, hey, it's a beautiful thing to have a woman, but it's even more of a beautiful thing to have a woman that's in order according to the oracles of the scriptures. And here we hear that the head, the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh and the head of, of, um, of man is Yahweh Shai. But man is the head of his household, and that makes sense. That's a that's a that's a that's an order. That makes sense. That's an order. Now, if you want to put you know an, an informed opinion into a particular decision, I'll, I'll hear it. Doesn't mean I'm going to swing that way, especially if it's something demonic. Especially if it's something demonic. But let's say, okay, you know, the car broke down. I got to go buy a car. Okay, yeah, come along. Oh, you, you think that's going to be a better color? I'll, I'll think about that. I'll think about that. Maybe I'll get it in that color. Should I feel like it? <laughs> you see that? But as touching decisions that might lead us unto life and death, well, the most I set out to where the, the, head of the, the head of the household is who? Is the man. Let's continue with the next precept. So these 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 things make make it, you know, this, these, these things, this should remind you that, hey, you are special, okay? If you are Israelite, man, you're very special. As we can see here, you're very nigh unto the Yahweh Shai. You're the, you're, the, you're the next uh, 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 tier down. That should make you ve feel very special, okay, in, in comparison to these uh, um to these women. And as we build up within the precepts, and as you see that the, the selected men of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh the ones that have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, they are very, very special and near unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh because they've been selected from the foundations of the earth, right, to be the ones that follow the Yahweh Shai, whithersoever the Lamb goeth in the times that we're living in now, right now. And if you want to go deep with it, well, the ultimate alpha male, quote unquote, the ultimate alpha male is Yahweh Shai, because he said he is the alpha and he is the omega. He's the beginning. And let's expound upon it a little bit more. OK, did the scriptures speak about the first fruits? <laughs> the founding forefathers. Alpha means the, the, the beginning, man. Right. Yahweh Shai is the R and the Thai. He's the beginning and the end. But you want to want to speak about the first fruits? How much? How comes these guys they don't speak about the first fruits, the elect? Because they want to have it to where your your whole mindset of survival is within Babylon. Okay, you do this, that, and the third, you're gonna succeed in Babylon. Of which, if you're gonna succeed in Babylon, well, guess what? You're gonna have to compromise yourself, making you a a, a person of no honor, 
In other words, a low-value male. <laughs> um, 1 Timothy 2 and, and 11, it says, Let the woman learn it in silence with all subjection. Now, subjection means what? To, to, to you know... You ain't you ain't doing you, you ain't doing too much, man. Okay, with all subjection. So that means the man is special because he doesn't have to do that. I suffer not a woman to teach. Wait, hold on, mate. What? How comes I ain't you know? How comes the first time I heard this scripture was from the elders of Great Millstone? How comes that's the only source of these this information coming out? This is the this is the this is Timothy. This this ain't the Old Testament way. This is what the scriptures is. This is what these so called Christians are supposed to be banging on about. This is supposed to be older age. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to us usurp authority over a man. Let's read it again. Nor to usurp authority over a man. That means the man is very special. Now, when we read the scriptures, we know that you ain't supposed to be a tyrant within your household. But a more size set an order. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Eve was, and Adam was deceived, but a woman being deceived was in the transgression. 15th verse. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in, in childbearing. And if they continue in the faith with charity, holiness and sobriety, humble, chilled, listening to their man. I'm trying to usurp some authority. Genesis 3 and 16 unto the woman, he said, I will get greatly multiply thy sorrow in thy conception. And in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. That's the order. The, mo the man was going to be the head of the household. Again, that should make you feel very special. Again, you ain't supposed to be some tyrant out here. But we know through uh, the power of Esau, everything's been turned upside down. All right? But you're trying to regain that power in Babylon. Hey, you're going to have to use wisdom to, to maneuver particular through particular situations because Esau's uplifted the woman within the society. You're going to have to move savvy. You're trying to regrain, you know, you, you know, you, you have a, um, you wake up to this truth. You had a woman before you was in this truth. You wake up to this truth, but she's, she's too much down um, the rabbit hole of feminism. You might have to let her go because the scripture says that how long would I go or backslide in daughter for the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall come past a man. That's what's happening right out there because the scripture says that what? A war you, a war uh, of your turn, turning of things upside down, Right. Meaning to say Esau has turned everything upside down. But guess what? The Moses is turning everything right side up. With his kingdom being destroyed. With his kingdom getting ready to be destroyed. The Moses is turning everything right side up. To the end, this scripture is going to be fulfilled. Uh, uh, wisdom, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. This is going to be the, 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 the thing that's going to increase. Um, sorry, this is, this is going to be the thing that's going to return everything back to its proper place. Okay, when this destruction comes about, everything's going to return back to its proper place. The book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter. Let's see, let's see this. Isaiah, Isaiah the, 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 the 13th chapter. And the seventh verse says, Therefore shall all hands be faint. It's an end time prophecy. Destruction of Babylon and Esau. And a man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. They shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. So ain't no amount of bags, you know. Ain't no amount of, amount of a, a, a bag chasing, right? You got a hundred grand in the bank. You can't buy it. You can't send a hundred grand to Russia so that they don't bomb the hell out of you, man. <laughs> hey, the scripture says, "Riches maketh wings in the time of uh, um, uh, 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 evil for all intents and purposes." Because I can't remember uh, the, the exact wording of the scripture. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed at one another with their faces as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord, is, behold, the day of the Lord cometh both cruel with wrath and with fierce anger to lay the land desolate. He shall destroy the sinner thereof out of it. And in these times, okay, the most I will, says that what I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Now, when we go into the book of Ecclesiastes, the second chapter, we find out a man's. Uh, Israelite man's value is going to be, in, be increased by way of the adversity. So it's the guy that was catching hell, but serving Yahweh Shai. He's really, let's use their term, he's really the high value individual. Does not the scripture say, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take thee cheerfully? This is the oracles that the scriptures speak about the actual true valued men unto the most high. Supposing gain is godliness. Is not godliness the highest form of value within the earth? The highest form of honor within the earth? 
And these guys want to tell you how to, how to, how to, you know, maneuver within Miami. So, I mean, you, I, again, like I said, you watch it, it's entertaining. You might be able to take one little great part of it, but the reality of the situation is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, of which that's the thing you're supposed to be able to acquire. That's the thing you're supposed to be not able to acquire. So like, that's what you should be desiring, man. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to please you, how about you, that should be the thing that should be desired. Okay? Because that's the greatest asset within the within the world. As we've just read within the book of Isaiah, the 33rd chapter on the 6th verse, a knowledge, wisdom, understanding shall be the stability of thy times. Meaning to say, even if you had a, 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 a Lamborghini Murcia Lago parked outside in a penthouse somewhere, yeah, you're going to be unstable unless you have that wisdom. And the scripture talks about how that there's not going to be many rich that's going to make it. But a man's going to be more precious than fine gold, even the golden wedge of all frost. So after that adversity, hey, them women are going to come, boy, they're going to run because you're going to be stable. Then they're going to get in order because you're, you're going to be stable. The scripture says that what? That people shall be willing in the day of thy power. You better believe in the times that we're living in right now, right? As Esau ramps up, his uh, uh pro, you know he, he ramps up his plans to establish his NWO. You better believe, right? The Most High is gonna show his hand upon his men, his real men, right? The real first fruits. <laughs> to hell some damn apple milk. I want to be a wise man of the Lord. I want to be one of the first fruits. Shall I want?